Hi friends, welcome to Las Cosas del Inglés, your channel where I never belong because your teacher is here to help you. Hi there, hi everybody. We're here with a new video. Today we're going to be making predictions, all right? With Will and going to, all right? So let's check, all right? So I got here predictions with Will. Uh, when we make predictions with wealth, we normally or we do not have any evidence. Cuando hacemos estas predicciones con will, no tenemos evidencia, all right? Así que vamos a hacer solo la predicción, pero no tenemos algo que nos haga o que nos sustente esa predicción, right? That's very important. For example, I can express myself. I think it will rain today. Ah, pienso que lloverá hoy. I think it will rain today. Or... I don't think it will rain. I don't think it will rain. No creo que llueva. Right? I'm making that predictions. Yeah? Myself. But I don't have any evidence. I didn't check the weather report. Or I didn't see. Or sorry. I didn't look at the sky. Nothing. I just say. Oh, I don't think it will rain. Right? Or I think it will rain. Right? But I do not have evidence. Cuando queremos mostrar o show uncertainty, cuando queremos mostrar certeza, certainty, so we use words like probably or definitely. Yeah, for example, we will probably have an exam. We will probably have an exam. Probablemente tengamos un examen. Or we probably won't have an exam. We probably won't have an exam. Why? It's good. Probablemente no tengamos un examen. Quiero que vean las posiciones. En este caso tengo el will. Uh -huh. Will probably. We will probably have an exam. Sin embargo, en negativo, we probably won't. ¿Vieron? We probably won't. We probably won't have an exam. Entonces, cuando usamos probably, uh -huh, en afirmativo lo usamos adelante del will. We probably have an exam. Cuando es negativo, we probably won't have an exam. Only you to check to consider it. Right? Uh, I have another one here. Say, oh, the exams looks difficult. Oh my goodness, the exams looks difficult. The exams are very difficult. We're saying like this, right? Uh, I will definitely fail my exams. Definitivamente fallaré o reprobaré mi examen. Yeah, I will definitely fail my exams. I have will here. The same happens. Will definitely uh -huh, fail my exam. Or I definitely won't. I definitely won't. Uh -huh. In this case, I won't pass my exam. I definitely won't pass my exams. Esto si nosotros queremos mostrar cierta certeza, ¿verdad? Es cuando lo podemos utilizar. I hope this is right. Mm -hmm. In the case of going to, making predictions with going to is a little bit different. Why? Because here we have evidence. Porque aquí sí tenemos evidencia, right? Is that's why we use going to instead of will. Es por lo cual utilizamos going to y no will. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have I wrote here some examples. It is going to rain today. It is going to rain today. Pero obviamente yo estoy viendo las nubes, right? I see oh, a lot of clouds, right? And they are great. So I, I think, yeah, today it's going to rain. Uh -huh. Así que pienso que hoy va a llover, pero me estoy basando en la evidencia que estoy viendo claramente. Uh -huh. Or it is not going to rain. It is not going to rain. Why? Because it's sunny, no clouds. Oh, today it is not going to rain. The evidence is clear. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, I have another example here. Look, she's pregnant. I look at the girl, yeah, and she's pregnant, right? I say, oh, she's going to have a baby. Oh, she's going to have a baby. Oh, va a tener un bebé, right? Ya, si tú quieres predecir here, you say, ah, oh, she's going to, uh, to have a baby. You say, I think she will have a boy. Yeah? Say, no, no, no. I don't think she will have a boy. I think she will have a girl. Uh -huh. Puedes hacer esa predicción. ¿Por qué? 
porque no tienes una evidencia clara si va a ser niño o va a ser niña. Pero lo que sí sabemos es que está embarazada and that she's going to have a baby. Y es por eso que usamos going to. Right? It's great. And you check how I contrasted. ¿Vieron cómo lo contrasté? El will y el going to. Alright? It's great. Uh, different one. You woke up late. It's five minutes to seven and you should be at work. So, oh, you're going to be late or you're going to be very late today. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque te levantaste tarde, son 5 para las 7 y deberías estar en el trabajo. Así que es, oh, you're, you're going to be late or you're going to be very late. Así que vas a llegar muy tarde. Why? Porque la evidencia es clarísima. Right? That is going to happen. So it's how we use, yeah, just for predictions now, right? Making predictions, right? Going to and will. Just to remember quickly, solo para recordar rápidamente... Usamos will para hacer predicciones cuando no tenemos evidencia o no contamos con esta evidencia. Ajá. Y utilizamos going to cuando existe una evidencia clara, ¿vale? Para hacer esa predicción. Además, si queremos mostrar cierta certeza utilizando will, bueno, podemos usar palabras como probably or definitely. Solo tener cuidado, ¿ok? Que el probably va delante del will. Si usamos want, va antes de want, right? Uh, we will probably have an exam or we probably won't have an exam. The same happens with definitely. I will definitely fail my exam or I definitely won't pass my exam. Yeah? Only be careful with that, right? It's how we use them to uh, make predictions, right? I hope this video helped you. And if you like it, please give me a like, subscribe and invite friends. And I'm gonna be happy to see ya next time.